There's a lot of evil out there. Hit me! Ladies and gentlemen, get into it! It's time! Get into it! Get on! Well, and I think that the dangerous, you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think, and that if, is the that is our you, job, control right. uh, exactly what people think, and that if, is the that is our you, job. And I had truly done my best morning and afternoon to play it their way and sit like a horror show cooperative malchick in the chair of torture while they flashed nasty bits of ultraviolence on the screen. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same simply aren't true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control the truth. Exactly what people think, and this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. You can no longer turn on the news. It is no longer the news. Breaking news does not really exist. It's only breaking when it's something that they want to tell you. And the way they want to tell you is, of course, always misleading. For example, if I were to look for something online, I will find the opposite of exactly what I'm looking for. I would look for the spin the media spin. Just the other day, I was thinking about uh, an article about good old Hillary Clinton. And uh, I remember seeing a meme just like this one where it says, who wears an upside down cross? Now, there are many Christians around the world, or not. you don't even have to be a Christian. You should just know that an upside down cross is usually associated with something that is ungodly. And Saying the word ungodly kind of encompasses the whole mainstream media because they are ungodly. They are evil people that just have an agenda from the left, more than likely, or a large percentage of the time, that wants to manipulate us and allow us to think. Control, as Mika Brzezinski said, control. And they have been lying to us for decades. Decades they have been lying to us. And we always saw them as these trusted talking heads that we would turn on the news and get something reliable. But here we have this picture of good old Hillary wearing an upside down cross. And we also have this where her beautiful daughter <laughs> wearing also an upside down cross. Now, when I was looking for this picture originally, I ran across this article here by none other than Snopes, who denies that she ever wore an upside-down cross, or it, doesn't, or it doesn't mean what it does mean. But come on. These people have nothing good for us. I'm reflecting on all of the killings of uh, young black men in particular, but of course black women too, uh, at the hands of the police uh, and at the hands of... Uh, you know, these white supremacists. And I'm thinking about the way that the president conducts himself. Uh, in a way, he's dog whistling. And I think that they're feeling uh, that they can get away with uh, this kind of treatment. Can someone please tell me why she's wearing a mask while on television? She's being interviewed, more than likely at her home, and she's wearing a mask. Talk about one dumb dame. But she puts the narrative and she feeds it very, very well. 
She's one of those that instead of looking out for the people, no, she's looking out for herself and her buddies. And of course, she gives the media the fodder that they're looking for. Let's look at this article here. After attacking Trump's coronavirus-related China travel ban as xenophobic, Dems and media have changed tune. Now, first of all, let me just say that the pandemic has been placed on hold due to the riots and protests that are going on. Well, they're really riots, although um, mainstream media will tell you that they're protests. No, but they, they are riots. They're, when you're destroying property, when you're just being completely destructive and causing all kinds of mayhem, it's no longer a protest. It's a riot. So there is no excuse for it. Well, as I was saying, it's been placed on hold. Social distancing has been placed on hold. But don't you worry. Don't you fret because it will pick up again on Monday. All right. So let's get back to this. Allow me to read between the lies on this. The reason why they make this claim is because it allows them the avenue of relating to viewers as to how much more dangerous they want it to be. So to clarify, let me say this. When, when President Trump initially placed a travel ban, of course, he was xenophobic. It wasn't a thing to do. It wasn't necessary. Why would you do that? You are our word, right? That's what they said. But now, because they know that the numbers are going down and things are getting much, much better and maybe not have been as dangerous as it really was, by them changing their tune, it allows them to manipulate the whole situation, whereas they can now say, wow, he was right. They will claim that he's right for this only because it allows them to claim that it's more dangerous and therefore they can push to keep this country locked down and come up with all kinds of things to keep us away from what our lives should be. See, mainstream media is a doomsday propaganda machine. They offer no comfort, only panic. Their claims are not backed by fact or science unless the so-called professionals join their narrative while rejecting opposing sensible facts and data. Now, what else have they been claiming on television, on the boob tube, as you want to call it, that these riots are done by far-right extremist groups or white supremacists is what they're saying. Well, you know what? Take a look at this. It might be a whole lot clearer. Hear it from someone else's words. This is sad. Look, please don't do this. I want you to know this is not, this is police people's way of Let me tell you this. This is not a black woman who's putting Black Lives Matter. I just want you to know that when Right, but y'all, y'all doing that for us, and we ain't asking you to do that. Listen, don't, don't, don't spray stuff out here when they gonna blame black people for this, and black people didn't do it. There's a black person. But if, if we wanted you to do it, we would have asked. They not gonna show y'all faces when they see that on their building. They gonna blame that on us. Y'all a part of the problem. News come on, they gonna say we did that. We didn't do that. Stuff like this ain't right. Stuff like this ain't right. That's what the problem is. We out here standing together peacefully, protesting without any problems. You got people of all races spraying on buildings talking about Black Lives Matter. That ain't even us. You got police officers coming to a peaceful protest spraying gas on us. We ain't even did nothing. Don't let the media fool you. When they see the vandalism on these places, know that it wasn't us. And when you see stuff like that, you're supposed to stand up and say something. Don't spray on these people's buildings. That's not our message. That's not that's not helping nothing. And then putting it on us. And then want to argue with us and say somebody black asked you to spray. We don't need nobody to do nothing for us. That's why we out here doing it ourselves. When it's said that there is division in this country, it's an undeniable fact. It is difficult to heal that divide when those in government and especially the media fan those flames. Do I really need to have to say more? Along with the Dems and their buddies on, in mainstream media, only deliver a manipulated message, a message of fear, and through that they hope to control the people. It's a sad event of things. We see what's going on. 
People are becoming aware. The Great Awakening. It's a great time to be alive. It certainly is. I want to give a shout out to my friends Tom and Carol, who always on a daily basis give me such great support and prayer. I want to thank Arnie Beiser. I got your books there, Arnie. I'm getting to them. And my man, Deplorable TG. You know, oh, the, can't forget my man Rob up there in New York City. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. You know, it's hard to get a tie on sometimes. It's been really, really busy. However, I want to send out a special blessing to everyone. I hope everyone is safe and not too distraught over these recent events that are going on. And those of you that are still worried about this uh, COVID thing, as I said, it will resume on Monday. Let's get past this thing and then we'll fight the rest of the way. I am the Monster Jammer KSG. Do not forget to subscribe. Please hit the like button. And also you can follow me on Twitter at Monster Jammer KSG. All right. Holler at me, folks. All right. Peace. And to those who are celebrating uh, your Pentecost today, you know, I pray that you continue to be blessed. I hope to see you soon. All right. Baruch Hashem and a men. Get on up, eat.